ever heard of a Nantucket sleigh ride? It is the most unique sleigh ride in the world. Nantucket sleigh ride was a popular term a century ago when whaling ships roamed the seven seas. These sailing vessels carried several small whale boats and skilled harpooners whose job was to plunge the harpoon into a vital spot of the whale and kill him quickly. Unfortunately, too often the harpoon missed its mark and the infuriated whale would take off across the blue ocean at top speed. The long rope attached to the harpoon would snap out and the whale boat with its crew of six men would take off on a wild, dangerous sleigh ride. Often the whale doubled back and charged the boat and the men were spilled into the ocean and their boat destroyed. As whales became scarce on the east coast, the whalers started roaming far. In 1948, Captain James Royce sailed the bark Superior all the way into the Bering Sea and found a bonanza, whales everywhere. He tried to keep his discovery a secret. But within a decade, practically all whalers from the East Coast were sailing around Cape Horn and up into the Alaskan Arctic. The whalers who came to Alaska discovered that they had more than the Nantucket sleigh ride to contend with. They battled the cold, the ice, and the gales of the treacherous Arctic and their tragedies made headlines throughout the country. Twelve ships crushed in Arctic ice, 50 lives lost. Five whalers sunk in violent storm off Point Barrel. 33 whalers crushed in the grinding ice flows of the Arctic. For 50 years, these gallant sailing ships tried to outwit the moving, grinding polar ice and vicious Arctic storms. The season was short, from midsummer till September and many a vessel got caught when the ice moved in too early. Some of the crews were lucky. In the year 1871, 1,200 men were stranded when their ships were trapped in the crushing grip of the polar ice. Cautiously, they made their way to five ships still in clear water a few miles south. Though they were crowded beyond belief, the vessel set sail, and a month later arrived in Honolulu with all hands safe. In 1897, just a few years before the romantic sailing whalers were replaced by the more prosaic steam whalers. Eight ships became trapped in the ice at Point Barrel. The crews escaped over the ice to shore. But how could 265 men survive on short rations until a ship arrived the following summer? Well, George Fred Tilton, first mate of the Belvedere, volunteered to go for help. By foot, dog team, and boat, he traveled 3,000 miles suffering untold hardships and unbelievable experiences. But his mission was successful. A herd of reindeer was driven to Point Barrow to feed the crews. The tales of whaling in Alaska waters are romantic. They are tragic and they are astounding. I hope that someday soon an Alaskan will collect all these sagas of an exciting era in Alaska's history. That book will be a worthy addition to the heritage of Alaska.